Hey guys, I'm back again. So uh, a couple of days ago I got the official update to uh, Android Lollipop on my HCC One M8. Uh, and I've been meaning to put up a video about it, seeing how it compares against uh, some of the other devices. And I thought it would be quite useful to compare against the Z3, which has also been uh, updated quite recently. Uh, and uh, I have to say I'm very impressed with uh, both of the uh, updates on these devices. They haven't actually like broken anything or made anything feel uh, bad at all. And uh, both of them run very nice and smooth. Uh, there are slight differences though in the UI which we can have a look at in this video. Uh, and uh, I think the first and most notable thing here uh, is like uh, the notification shade er area. Uh, I think uh, I like some things uh, in regards to Sony's implementation, if I'm to be honest. Uh, it uh, seems to be a bit easier to access things, whereas with the HTC you have to go into like a, a little button and then press again if you want to change the brightness, which is a bit uh, of a chore to me. Uh, but it's good that they're both allowing you to actually uh, like uh, customize the uh, notification shade here. As you can see, HTC is uh, allowing you to do that as well. Uh, whereas uh, you don't get that on like uh, Samsung devices, uh, which is very nice. Uh, I think that uh, that should be standard on pretty much every Android device so that uh, you can have greater control over that area uh, and uh, if we look at uh, the dialers on these two we can see uh, like uh, how the UI uh, differs again so uh, if we go back here uh, to yeah that's fine so uh, we can see that uh, HCC is sticking with the very uh, kind of black uh, look here whereas the uh, dialer on the Z3 is a bit more whiter there. Uh, if I'm going to be honest I think I prefer the HTC dialer on Lollipop. I think it looks a little bit more rugged and manly. Uh, it's not to say the Z3 is as ugly or anything but I do prefer I think uh, this particular one and uh, I think uh, we can have a look at the uh, messaging as well which again uh, it looks a little bit different. Both of them are using the same blue, eye, blue UI uh, which kind of melts into the notification area which is nice. Uh, if we just uh, look at the new message here you can see uh, it's uh, quite, quite similar really on this particular screen. Not too much divergence uh, so that, that's quite nice to see a bit of parity there. Uh, if we go to the uh, browsers obviously Sony doesn't have it's uh, kind of browser, its own browser, it uses Chrome, so we can only really go to it on here. Uh, and uh, we can see the HTC coming with a similar type of browser as uh, KitKat here. So uh, you can set up your new tabs there quite quickly, which is nice. Not too much in the way of difference, I don't think, with that particular uh, app here but uh, is interesting here you can see it looks like you're on kind of like a desktop UI here uh, it's not like uh, the mobile version I don't think but uh, if we have a look at the uh, multitasking uh, we can see we get uh, Sony's uh, quick apps here access which is quite nice you can uh, quickly put small apps on your uh, phone whereas you don't get that on the HTC but they do both come with the carousel kind of effect which is uh, very nice and clean uh, we get an extra option up here with the HTC which allows you to go into the running apps uh, and obviously you can uh, I think kill these somehow uh, maybe go through them yes you can go through each one doesn't seem you can just quickly kill them all though which is a bit of a shame uh, but uh, moving from that we can uh, have a look at the uh, Google Now kind of thing and that's quite similar as well I have to say it does I do like the way they've changed the uh, Google Now uh, kind of thing it looks uh, a lot quicker to get into you just kind of just flick up and then you're in whereas before it was a bit of a chore really 
uh, which uh, you know it's good that we've seen a bit of progress there. Uh, in terms of the uh, music players, you can have a look at them as well. Uh, we have the uh, Walkman here with the Sony, uh, and I have to say I'm, I do prefer the Walkman app uh, compared to the HTC Music Player app. Uh, part of the reason is obviously, as I've said many times, uh, you know Sony is pretty much untouchable when it comes to the audio kind of optimizations you can put on. You can even adjust it to a particular headset, which is, uh, you know, really awesome. Uh, whereas you don't kind of get that with the HTC. I was expecting some, like, additional audio options to come in. But it seems that you, you don't really get that. Uh, if we look in the settings here, and just have a look just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. So, uh, if we go to sound and then sound profile, see that doesn't seem to do anything so unless I'm missing anything it looks like uh, you know you kinda you don't have too many in the way of equalizer options there I think I'm not sure if they've changed that for the HCC 1M9 but it would be nice if they did uh, Sony's certainly showing a lot of leadership there in that particular department uh, if we look at the cameras on these two, uh, so where we can see here, uh, we have uh, Sony's uh, UI, which uh, is uh, very helpful for people who can't be bothered and just want to put on the superior auto mode, and that automatically detects what the scene is, which is nice. Uh, and uh, the HTC, I really like the HTC camera app. I particularly like the uh, sound it makes when you are taking a shot. It's always reminded me of like a machine gun, full auto kind of thing. I really like that about HTC, uh, and uh, you do get quite a lot of options and settings in here. Uh, a lot of them, I think, uh, carry over from KitKat. So uh, I don't think there's too much in the way of the differences there brought on by Lollipop. Uh, but uh, obviously the same can be said on the Z3. The only real noticeable difference I've found is the uh, loading icons are different. Uh, but uh, both of them are very good camera apps nevertheless. Uh, in terms of the speed on both devices, I'd have to say I do prefer the HTC when it comes to the raw speed. Uh, to me, it just feels that a little bit faster than the Z3, even though the Z3 has more uh, kind of memory. Uh, I don't know why that is. You know, they're both running the same type of sock, uh, and uh, you'd think that uh, they'd be kind of like the same in terms of the speed. So, as you can see, I'm opening up some apps here, and while the Z3 did uh, open up some a bit quicker there. Uh, I have uh, done this off camera and it does seem to me that the the one does seem that little bit quicker at doing things so maybe just an optimization issue there with the Z3 but uh, so uh, you can see here the uh, lock screens look a little bit different on both of them uh, with the Sony sticking more with the traditional kind of uh, lollipop interface for it uh, with your quick access to the dialer uh, as well as the uh, camera uh, which is nice whereas uh, HTC has gone to uh, keep it very like sense uh, like how it's been historically you can quickly get access to these uh, icons which you can customize to your heart's content uh, but uh, obviously Android purists may get uh, a bit confused there uh, but uh, at the end of the day it's quite subjective as to which one you prefer uh, I think uh, in terms of the Antutu uh, you're going to get a slightly higher speed on the uh, 1, 1M8 uh, which uh, as you can see 
I did uh, just run this uh, and uh, it does score a little bit higher than the Z3 at uh, 45842 versus 44706 not really sure why there is a discrepancy there but it does put it above the OnePlus One which is pretty nice I think it's due to HTC's mastery when it comes to like Sense and Android so uh, one thing where HTC have forgotten about though I think is the settings they haven't actually uh, put the Easter egg in as you can see clicking on that does nothing so a little bit of a bug there I think but uh, you know just a quick little video here looking at uh, these two UIs at the end of the day I'm very impressed with both of them uh, and these are still two amazing Android phones which uh, you know much more premium than most so uh, yeah just a quick little video here uh, looking at uh, the official lollipop on these two and uh, if you like the video please hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Cheers!